David Menzies for Rebel News here in North Toronto. And folks, I am at the intersection of Lawrence and Bathurst. This area is home to a very vibrant Jewish community. And I would argue it's a very safe neighborhood indeed. I can tell you that because I grew up about a kilometer west of here many moons ago. But right now, there is a very ominous feeling in the air on this Friday the 13th and it has nothing to do with superstition rather the founder of the terrorist group Hamas stated recently that he wants this day to be a so-called day of rage translation target Jews and their allies uh, create jihad amongst the enemies of the terror group Hamas and that is why you can see behind me there is a mobile command post operated by the Toronto police. Indeed if you drive anywhere around the area to Jewish schools, Jewish cemeteries, synagogues, you will see not only security guards on patrol but Toronto police officers as well. Clearly the war in the Middle East is half a world away but terrorism is very portable as a matter of fact not too far from here just yesterday three hooligans showed up at a Jewish school and started taunting um, very distasteful remarks towards Jewish students at lunchtime my beloved boss and colleague Ezra Levant he, were, he was on the scene here, check out an excerpt of his report. At around lunch hour, three young men who purported to be motivated by the terrorism in the Middle East made threats against kids, Jewish kids, from this school. Here's how the head of school, Jonathan Levy, described it at a impromptu press conference a few moments ago. Unfortunately, there was an incident that took place near our campus today. Um, what happened was that a number of individuals targeted some of our students with uh, threats. There were no violence, there was no violence, there were no injuries, thankfully. Uh, but uttering threats is, of course, uh, illegal and a problem. So what's happened to these people? What, what did you do? So our security uh, responded, called 911. Police responded very quickly. And um, for our procedure, they called 911. Police have uh, arrived quickly, for which we are very grateful. And an investigation is now underway. Um, with possible charges pending. So is it little wonder that Toronto police are taking no chances on this particular day? In fact, the Toronto police released a statement to the media last night. It read as follows. The Toronto Police Service has heard directly from community leaders in our city that the war in the Middle East is generating fear and insecurity in Toronto. The service continuously monitors world events to assess how they may impact the safety and security of Toronto residents and we are aware of global online threats circulating today about events that may occur on Friday." End quote. And you may also notice there are several members of the mainstream media here. I see trucks from Global News and CTV News and we're all playing the same game right now, which is um, we're on standby. We're just waiting to see if this so-called day of rage, this terrorism might break out here in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Hopefully that won't happen. Hopefully what this founder of Hamas proclaimed will be, in the words of William Shakespeare, sound and fury signifying nothing and again let us hope that this is a nothing burger that no Canadian Jew or any other Canadian is going to be targeted in the name of madness and terrorism. Folks are you as horrified as we are in terms of what happened in Israel recently? The grotesque terrorist attack against innocent Israeli civilians? Well, if so, please sign our petition. Please go to CanadaStandsWithIsrael.com. That's CanadaStandsWithIsrael.com and kindly sign our petition.